Hey guys, how's it going? Lola and I are going to teach you how to use Bezier's and the speed graph in After Effects. All right, guys, how's it going? Welcome into my After Effects program. I've already set up the composition for this tutorial to make it a little faster. And so I'm going to teach you how I use some stylistic Bezier effects to make these animations a little cooler. So let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and click on this Bezier layer that I put right here. It's just a text layer. Click on it. I'm going to press P to start some positioning keyframes. I'm going to click the stopwatch to get it going. And uh, I actually like it being in the center. So that's actually going to be my ending destination. Now I'm going to go ahead and work backwards here. Uh, if, if I wasn't working backwards and I was over here, I would have just taken this keyframe that would have started here and just dragged it out a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right here, drag it a little out. And I just wanted to come in from the left. So I can either click it from here and drag it in, or I could have used this little selector here, um, but it's your preference. Um, so right now, I'm gonna close this in to make it a little faster, but it's just gonna come in from the left and stop in the center, which is cool. I mean, if you wanted just a simple little thing, if you don't have time for a lot of crazy gimmicks, but if you do and you wanna make it a little more stylistic, uh, this is how you do it. So right now, it just comes in well, what I do is I add another layer. I add another step, sorry, not layer. I add another step to this keyframing. So I come a little bit more in, I copy this end one and I paste it. And then what I do is I drag it just a little further out. And then to make it nice and easy, I go ahead and add an easy ease right in the middle. Now I'm going to show you what it looks like right when you just do that, which is not exactly what I want it to do. And I'll show you why. So it's a little quick, a little quick. I'm going to extend this out by holding the alt key and extending it. Well, it doesn't seem to be quite smooth. There seems to be something holding it back almost like it's, it's just not perfect. So I'm going to highlight this because this is something that I run into all the time. I'm going to go ahead and, ear, and get in here and go to keyframe interpolation. Now what it's doing is it's actually creating an auto, auto bezier on top of my bezier of the spatial interpolation. Now I'm dealing with the spatial keyframing here, which is positioning and it's creating an auto bezier of my Bezieing that I'm doing manually here. So it's kind of overlaying and confusing it. So I'm going to turn this to linear and I'm going to click OK, which makes it just read what I'm telling it to do. And there it is. Now it looks a little nicer. You got some uh, some some bunging, it kind of seems like, and it's really cool. Uh, that's one of my favorite things to do. Now, this still isn't perfect. And the way to make it perfect is where you get into the speed graph editor and that's the fun part so I'm gonna click on this middle keyframe and then I'm gonna go ahead and click this little guy right here which is the screen speed graph editor now sometimes when you come into this the first time it won't actually be showing the right graph so make sure when you get into here you right click and select edit speed graph a lot of times it's on edit value graph which will look a little different and you'll be really confused just like I was when I first did it. Now I'm gonna right click, edit speed graph. So this is relating to your speed. It's coming in pretty fast, it kind of slows down, but then it jumps right into it. I want it to kind of really like bungee and go fast and then go kind of like slow a little bit and snap back. So I'm gonna do just that. I'm gonna go ahead and come in here to the middle one, which is actually, if you toggle this back and forth, it's referencing to that middle keyframe right there. These are all your keyframes. And then I'm gonna go ahead and press the plus button a couple times to kind of get a little more zoomed in and put it in the middle. And then, so I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna spread out this middle part here. So it's creating a nice U right here. Oh, sorry. Nice U right here. And I can even make it a little smoother to where it like has no padding at the end and it just kind of snaps in but most of it's the smoothness of this guy a little bit more let's see how that looks yeah so before it kind of just had its own speed values that it created whereas now you can actually take this you can even be like okay I want it to 
drag a little further out maybe and do a little longer pause and have it snap back even harder. And there you go. So that's a way to use the speed graph to kind of make your animation here a little more customized. I'm going to go ahead and switch back to the regular one where now I have that going on and it kind of hangs out and snaps back. Now that's using bezieting and speed graphing. And as you can see now, these keyframes have all turned into some sort of easy easing. Because I manually went in here and I use the speed graph editor, it does change these other values once you start messing with them. So that's essentially how I use bezieting and speed graphs. You can actually apply this to almost any animation. You can apply it to growing and scaling. You can apply it to trim pathing. You can apply it to almost anything in After Effects that is a keyframe or anything, I'm sure. Um, and so go ahead and play with stuff like that. You can make it longer. You can make it shorter. You can do it with growing and scaling. Uh, I just used positioning as a super simple, easy way to do it. And I hope you have fun experimenting with it. Thanks a lot for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and uh, check out my next tutorials when I do release them. Have a good one.